How do I play the crescendo endgame? In crescendo, there are a few tasks to pay attention to in the endgame. The most obvious one is hanging from the chain, but there's also parking, scoring in the trap, and the human player can throw onto the microphone. The simplest of these tasks is parking. If you can drive, you can probably park. All you need to do is drive inside the tape line for the stage. Just make sure you coordinate with your alliance partners before the start of the match so they know where and when you'll be parking. Another relatively simple, but potentially deceptively hard task is scoring on the microphone. For this, I think you want to just have a human player practice tossing a note onto a pole over and over and over again. It's not worth too many points, but it could swing the outcome of the match. The other two tasks are a bit harder, and both require specific mechanisms to complete them. Since these two tasks are more complex, they require some thought before you decide whether your team will be pursuing one, both, or neither. Neither of these tasks on their own are worth terribly many points by themselves, but they can influence other parts of the match. The interesting thing about these two tasks is they're both part of the stage points, which if you get more than 10 stage points and you have two robots on the chain, you can get an extra ranking point. That lends a bit more importance to these tasks above just their raw point value. Ranking high might not be a top priority for all teams, but it will be a priority for those teams selecting other teams in eliminations. It's important to consider your team's goals and resources when analyzing these two tasks. Now we'll get into some specific considerations, starting with hanging on the chain. Andy Mark provides these simple hook shapes in their Climber in a Box kit, and these will work fine to latch onto the chain in multiple orientations. This is just a starting point though. If you want to prototype different hook shapes that might fit better in your robot or align better with your design, that's great. Some improvements that could be made would be keeping this hook from sliding back and forth along the chain. That might be important when climbing next to another robot or climbing at a different height so you don't slide down to the center. I mentioned the climber in a box. That's Andy Mark's complete hanging solution from winch spool to hook. It's a spring out winch back mechanism that you can mount to your robot to easily climb on the chain. Some things to note about it are that you will receive 30 inch length extrusions when you order the product with extrusions. These can be cut down to suit your robot design, which may include driving under the stage. To use a climber in a box to climb the chain in crescendo, you'll want to make sure that in the retracted state, the top of the hook is significantly below the chain. This will allow you to extend up, latch onto the chain and compress such that there's enough margin for your robot to not sit perfectly level when on the chain, but still remain off the ground. Where you mount your climber relative to the center of gravity of your robot will affect how much you tip. The simplest example of how to mount this would be if you're a short robot with a low center of gravity and you mount it in the center of your robot, you're likely to remain stable and level while climbing. If you're a taller robot with a higher center of gravity, and your climb causes your center of gravity to pass above the chain, this can lead to some unexpected consequences, such as a robot tipping one way or another. Mounting the climber in the center of your robot can get in the way of some other important mechanisms, so you may be inclined to mount it off to one side. Since the climb distance this year is so short, this may mean that you don't actually get all the way off the ground when your climber fully retracts. There are, however, some ways to get around this. One of those ways would be to mount a second climber somewhere else on your robot, such that the center of gravity is between the two climbers. There is, however, another way. While you're only allowed to hang from the chain, there are other surfaces on the stage you're allowed to stabilize off of, such as the bottom of the core. This can be used as leverage to pick up one end of your robot while pinning the other end. Check the manual for specific rules regarding this. One other thing to keep in mind is the rules state that stage points will be evaluated up to five seconds after the end of the match when your robot has been disabled. Some ways to avoid falling back down after disabling are using a high reduction gearbox on your winch 
or putting your speed controller in brake mode so it's harder for it to unspool. The other main endgame challenge is scoring in the trap. While it's not explicitly stated in the rules, it does seem incredibly difficult to score in the trap if you are not suspended from the chain due to the geometric constraints of your robot and the location of the flap. This means that most mechanism designs will have to contend with the robot being suspended from the chain and probably not necessarily level. Once suspended, you have to both contend with opening the door and getting a game piece to go in such that it doesn't get stuck on the door. This could be accomplished with one to two new mechanisms specifically designed for this task, or you may be able to design other mechanisms on your robot, such as your intake, your shooter, or your amp scoring mechanism to do one or both of these tasks. This may be easier and more reliable if you're stabilizing your robot against the core. As you can see, this is quite a complicated endgame with lots of different objectives and facets involving points scored in this match, as well as points that'll affect your ranking throughout the tournament. Be sure to strategize with your team to prioritize which of these tasks you want to complete with the resources you have available. And that's how you play the Crescendo Endgame.